move on from me to move back on another one. It's crazy because Dwight Howard just not even accused or alleged came out and said that he's admitted to sleeping with men in this all new lawsuit where he's saying that he didn't that he that he didn't force the guy he didn't force himself on the guy and that uh, it was consensual first of all let's just stop there well, this is back to back with Lil Baby. Lil Baby, you saw yesterday, I just dropped a video on a Lil Baby situation. Now, today, I'm dropping a video on the White Howard situation. This is what's trending right now. This is what's, this is, this is what's coming out right now. The coming out. <laughs> this is what's coming out right now. The coming out. All right. Apparently, Harper said he reached out to Howard with a direct message on Instagram. He said he sent his cell phone number, which Howard texted after he received. In his lawsuit, he said Howard told him he was into, quote-unquote, freaky sexual stuff, and that he asked Harper to send him explicit photos. He's gay, isn't he? Yep. And I was his biggest fan. That make me gay. Don't. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's crazy, yo. This is like the craziest, like just this is just nuts because yo, I think we all were or are or were Dwight Howard fans when he was in the NBA. I mean, he was the high flying Superman, dunk champion, uh, character, uh, smiles all the time. Christian, right? Very Christian. I think he grew up in a Christian high school, so. You know, um, or church high school, or whatever. But in in his response, uh, Howard said he did exchange texts with Harper between May two thousand and twenty one to July two thousand twenty one. I believe that was right after they won the chip. Uh, I think they won the uh, the Lakers won the chip two thousand twenty, right? Uh, Dwight Howard was on that team, and a year later, I guess he was into <laughs> some freaky things, right? So, quote-unquote, freaky things. Several, quote-unquote, several of which included sexual explicit content, such as photographs and videos. This is what Dwight Howard said that he sent. This is not alleged, allegedly accused, a thought. No, this is from the horse's mouth. So, the last video, the little baby situation, that's a question mark. This is is coming from the person themselves, Dwight Howard himself, has openly came out. Basically, this is basically Dwight Howard coming out video. Actually, that would be a good name to name. <laughs> the NBA star said Harper came out, uh, who came, uh, came over to his home on July 19th, 2021. Howard admitted they went to his bedroom, removed their clothing, and engaged in consensual kissing. So Dwight Howard was in a romantic relationship with men, and he's admitting to this. Uh, this is insane news just because, um, I mean, we didn't, I think he was married, uh, I believe, when he was winning the championship. I think he was walking around with his wife or something. Uh, but I do remember Dwight Howard also being, uh, from, 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 if I remember correctly, he was actually the pastor or the priest for uh, a gay wedding with two women um, getting married, um, and he, he ended up being the, the person to create the vows, which is very interesting, because, you know, I guess that could have been the tell-all sign, um, so they engaged in consensual kissing, uh, so it's, they were definitely in a romantic situation there. In his lawsuit, Harper, Harper claimed Howard surprised him by bringing out a man dressed as a woman, so now, this is where it's not just love and all of that stuff. Now it's like, quote, unquote, where the, the line freaky stuff come into play when he texted him at first. So Dwight Howard kept it a bean from the jump that he's into some freaky things. If we looking at the what the what the report is saying so far, because, you know, he said he that's what his lawsuit Dwight Howard was saying. <laughs> This is crazy. I'm not laughing at the fact that Dwight Howard is gay. It's just this this whole story is just it's just crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's sad to be honest. 
but it's just sometimes you, you it's like Kevin Hart, you laugh at pain, you know what I'm saying? And his compliment or his com- compliant and his complaint, excuse me, guys, uh, Harper said Howard wanted a threesome with Kitty. So he wanted a threesome with the with the guy and the guy dressed as a girl named Kitty, right? He said Kitty started performing oral sex on Howard. So to paint out a picture, you know what I'm saying? Harper said he was uncomfortable and did not want to participate. He said Howard tried to tough or touch his thigh and stoked his quote unquote uh genitals through his underwears. All right. Harper said he asked Howard to stop. Instead of listening, he claimed Howard would told him he was quote unquote going to do whatever and he was quote unquote going to like it. Like so it's like one of those like dominating things, you know what I'm saying? This is a six ten dude who has like a forty eight inch vertical, um, whose shoulders are like the size of Mount Ever Everest. So uh, I think whatever he says just goes <laughs> for some person named Harper. Like, you know, you know what Harper looked like. Harper don't look like. All right, let me, uh, quote unquote, the defendant stood up towards over Mr. Harper, grabbed Mr. Harper by the thighs, forcibly removing Mr. Harper's uh, underwears, held Mr. Harper down and performed non-consensual oral sex on Mr. Harper, quote-unquote. That's what the suit read. Hashtag, or quote-unquote, Mr. Harper was in fear of imminent bodily harm when he was pinned down and forcibly to remain in place while the defendant continued to sexually assault him. Damn. Harper said Howard stopped performing the sexual act on him when he realized Harper wasn't enjoying it. The suit said Howard then ordered Harper to his bed. Harper said Kitty was having sex with Howard. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is the craziest shit. This is the craziest shit I've ever read, bro. Harper said Howard forced him to perform oral sex with him. He said he tried to call an Uber after the incident, but Howard made Kitty take him home. Oh, my God. The lawsuit accused Howard of assault, battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. The false imprisonment line is kind of crazy because we're, I guess, him forcing him, I guess that's false imprisonment. Okay, well, in his response, Howard denied that Harper was surprised by Kitty. He said, quote, unquote, the plaintiff was aware that would also be arriving at home prior to plaintiff even arriving at defendant's home. So Howard's trying, I guess, pull pull this off like this guy kind of knew all this stuff was going to happen. And I guess he just got freaked out by the whole situation because maybe Dwight Howard just went in there and just just was on time and just went in on business. And that shit is like, probably caught that Harper dude off guard. Like, nigga, a bit like a whole kitty. Like, whew, this situation is wild. For me, Dwight Howard and the whole industry, especially the NBA, I mean, the NBA to a lot of those locker rooms, man, you know, before you can get to the NBA, you got to get through those locker rooms. And, you know, AD's been through those locker rooms, uh, you know, Chris Bosh and Vince Carter said it's just okay what goes on in those locker rooms. But for some people, like Dwight Howard, I guess, they end up liking it, ended up moving on, and this, that's who they become. Um, but it's clear as day why he likes to be in Thailand. Uh, he played for Thailand, I believe, and he always advocates for Thailand. But uh, for anybody who knows about Thailand, you know, they have – a lot of different varieties of human beings um, you choose from. Uh, so hence the character that's named Kitty with Dwight Howard. They just immediately went went at it while the Harper person was probably just a regular uh, gay person. And uh, just didn't, you know, didn't expect all of that stuff because that was probably abrupt. Uh, but then when you have a 6'10 person just forcing themselves upon you, uh, I mean, actually, yeah, that's kind of fearful, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of it's kind of messed up. But the White Howard, not not allegedly, but 
claimed that he did see this person and was with this person. So we heard Dwight Howard's side of the story. We heard the other person's side of the story. I'm going to side with the victim a little bit more uh, just because, you know, I can kind of see that happening. I mean, he's an NBA player. I mean, uh, you know, Dwight Howard just kind of seems like that type of person. Like, we always used to joke about Dwight Howard being that type of person, but now, I mean, I guess it was all, all those jokes were real. It's like with Dennis Rodman, you know, Dennis Rodman, when he, he, what he was doing in the NBA was, was sketchy, but, you know, he went through what he went through uh, in his life, you know, his tell-all story. Uh, so I'm interested in what Dwight Howard has to, will he eventually talk talk out about this and not just through the lawyer? Will he speak up about the story and the, and, uh, and the allegations? But this is one for the books in terms of just a random, you know, baseball hit right before the NBA season starts, which is today. Uh, so it's just so interesting that all of this back-to-back uh, between the sexy red little baby and now Dwight Howard, is all of this is back-to-back while the whole uh, war is going on. Um, it's a good way to flush out the news uh, if this is a tactic, because I look at things from all different sides. One side is like that, thinking like, okay, this is a tactic to uh, flush out the news from the immediate war that's going on, the fact that America is funding uh, the wrong side uh, that's actually killing uh, a lot of people. Um, and Or the other side could just be, this is just the random dudes that just broke out and this person is actually is just was actually abused and false imprisonment and went through pain and just want justice. So I look at it from all spectrums, you know what I'm saying? Um, but... You know, I'm siding with the victim in this in this situation. Um, it just kind of sounds too real. Um, I feel like Dwight Howard responding with the speed that he responded with, uh, it kind of makes sense. Uh, even the fact that Dwight Howard realized the person didn't enjoy it, that kind of sounds like something. Like it just sounds, it just sounds not made up. Um, and Dwight Howard admitted to doing these activities, or at least being freaky with the guy. And one of these things, so Dwight Howard basically just came out as bi, or I mean, well, I can't. I guess I can't. I guess I can't put put that on him. I guess he would have to put it on himself, right? Because that's the PC era that we're living in. So I can't. I can't put that on him, right? But either way, whatever Dwight Howard preference is, clearly it's not just women. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of people. Uh, that's inside of the sports industry um, that keeps it under the tuck. Uh, I believe it, just like how it is in the hip-hop industry with a lot of the artists that kept it under the tuck. It's also interesting that the little Baby and James Harden situation happens right before, well, allegedly for that situation because we don't know what that situation, but the day after now, Dwight Howard situation, and that's an NBA player. So back-to-back, we got NBA players. Uh, That's just... Weird timing. I'm not trying to put those situations together because one is actual uh, sexual abuse and another one is could be just made up internet troll. But it's just interesting, the the stories. I mean, come on. Like, I believe in coincidences and, uh, and ironies. I study the patterns. That's interesting pattern. Those are the updates we got for you right now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.